Hi, my name is Kari Nieto and I'm so excited to be able to represent a team of individuals from around the world that wrote a review for Allergy on Climate Change and Global Health, a call to more research and more action. Importantly, as many of you know, climate change is the number one most important issue that we all face around the planet for human health as well as planetary health. And the health effects of climate change are numerous, both indirect and direct health effects on the respiratory system, which our specialty deals with a lot, wildfires, dust storms, pollution, all of the elements that are causing more extreme weather conditions associated with climate change are affecting the lungs and the respiratory tract. In addition, pathogens and disease transmission, insect growth, all of this is also increasing because the, as the globe increases in temperature, we're seeing different species of insects go across different boundaries of temperature gradients for the world. In addition, mental health is a large issue where people are being forced to migrate because of scarce resources due to climate change and extreme weather conditions. Acute events like hurricanes, flooding, wildfires are affecting people's mental health, both short-term and long-term. Cardiovascular system events are also on the rise due to pollution, due to wildfires, due to dust storms, with increasing drought, increasing temperatures around the world. We're seeing increases in stroke as well as heart attacks because of some of these events. In the immunity and the allergy world, where we and many of you focus on, there are a lot of changes both in the short term and the long term with climate change and our immunity. In fact, even as good as being able to respond to COVID, for example, wildfires have been associated with decreased ability to respond to COVID, as well as increase in pollens. Many of us are very worried that as the globe warms, there will be increase in pollination due to increase in season and increase in growth of certain species across the planet. And with that, in this review, we also talk about not only the problem, but also what are some elements that we can think about solving it, both individually as well as on the public health level. And so there's a great figure that we put in this article about the action flows for our call to action. How as we as individuals, as healthcare professionals, how can we help our patients, but also how can we help governments and policymakers make sure that they understand this is a huge issue. It affects human health on the public large-scale level as well as the individual level, and how can we change that? And then finally, the key messages of the article, which I urge you to read, are that the health sector should reinforce holistic prevention measures following the One Health or Planetary Health model, that academia must deliver guiding frameworks such as high-quality evidence-based guidelines, that asthma and allergic diseases are at the forefront of what's being changed by the climate and environmentally driven with lifelong impacts and very suitable for a One Health policy implementation, and that the environment can support health through key pillars of resilience like diversity, biodiversity, diet, microbiome, and epithelial barrier improvement. So thank you so much. I hope you'll love the article. Please feel free to give us feedback and enjoy the rest of your day.